Oh, brilliant. Hope somebody's got a map there that they can hand out. Now, our next guest is a Glasgow man who's just about to publish his first novel. And in fact, it's the first of many uh, because it's part of a brand new trilogy. Yeah, it's called Anna Undreaming and it kicks off the Matrix Fade trilogy and it's written by Thomas Welsh, who's with us now. Lovely to see you, Thomas. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for you. coming in. Now, tell me, what, what's the story all about? What's the book about? So it's about Anna. She's the main character and uh, she was a student. She's now graduated did her thesis or whatever and it's about her kind of exploring this world that's influenced and changed by these people called the dreamers so these people with them their art literally changes the world wow. so it's kind of this kind of magical uh, environment in the real world mm. she's had a lot of trauma trauma in her past and she's coming to terms with that while also coming to terms with this kind of magical world that she's exploring Sounds it, incredible. it's described as a feminist fantasy trilogy mm. where did the idea for that come from um well i suppose from from everywhere from my life i think there's this really great quote i like from uh, one of my favorite authors kurt vonnegut and he says you should write about anything you want because eventually you'll end up writing about yourself you know and i think just everything that i'm interested in comes through in this book so i tried to create this kind of way of having art change the world so that i can write about the music that i love the art that i love literature dance just all these things um kind of blended together into a, a, a big story when it's something so personal to you and you do find inspiration from everyday life mm -hmm. do you find that makes it easier to write i mean how long would it take you to write something like this this novel so this book took me two years altogether okay. um but it was much bigger uh it was too big so really? it, was, uh, it was two books yeah i had to find a good point to split it and that kind of made it more attractive to publishers. And the same time was kind of publishing some short stories and stuff as well. Uh -huh. um, so two years, but that's doing a lot of other a stuff as well. A lot of work well. on this, yeah, 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 amazing. And Glasgow's inspired you for quite a lot of this yes. book. Why, in what way? Um, I think Glasgow is a city that has everything in it. So you see like you've got beautiful views out the window here, you've got the Clyde, you've got the river, but you've got very dark areas. You know, you've got dangerous places in Glasgow, but you've yeah. got beautiful places too. And I tried to write Anna and Dreaming without ever saying which city it was based in because I hoped that the reader would feel like it was based in a place that they knew. So it's, it doesn't have named locations. And my hope, if I've done a good job, <laughs> is that someone will read it and they'll just feel like, oh, this is, this is the city They're that city. I know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That, I suppose that's quite a talent as well. That's part of the skill of the writing a good novel is to, to let readers' imagination run wild themselves. Yeah. That's what you're hoping for. But you say this, as you just mentioned, Glasgow, a broken fun house mirror image of Glasgow. Yeah. Think that's the best way to describe it? I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like people resonated with that whenever yeah. I put it in emails, they email me back. So as you're doing something <laughs> right, have to try and yeah sell it. But I think there's aspects of everything. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, when you're writing fiction, yeah. you mm. pull just everything from your life and mm. you blend it together. So well, there's so many locations from from around the city. Book Amazing. one, so you've committed to the other two as well. So we'll oh, see. I've signed up for three. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. brilliant, Thomas. Good luck with it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Time for us to take a quick break.